In this video, we will chamfer the top of the part and then post the file. A chamfer toolpath automatically cuts a chamfer around a contour using a chamfer mill. That being said, select Toolpaths, Contour. Leave the default settings in the chaining dialog box as shown. Now select the chains and ensure that the chaining direction is identical to mine. It does not matter which contour you select first. However, the first contour you select will be the first contour cut. Select the OK button to exit the chaining dialog box. In the toolpath type page, the contour toolpath will be selected. We will now select a half inch chamfer mill from the library and set the tool parameters. That being said, select tool from the tree view list. From here, choose the Select Library Tool button and then choose the Filter button. Under Tool Types, select the None button and then choose the Chamfer Mill icon as shown. Once complete, select the OK button to exit the Tool List Filter dialog box. From the Tool Selection list, choose the Half Inch Chamfer Mill. Select the OK button. A warning message that the tool selected is not defined as being capable of both roughing and finish will appear on the screen. You should note that the chamfer mill is defined for a finish operation only. For chamfer toolpath, we only need a finish operation. Select the OK button to continue. Your tool will appear as shown. Input the following comment chamfer the top of the boss. Once complete, select the cut parameters. Change the contour type to 2D chamfer. For the width, input a value of 0.025 and for the tip offset, input a value of 0.05. I will now explain a few of the parameters found on this page. 2D chamfer cuts chamfers around a contour. Width sets the chamfer width. Mastercam measures the width from the chain geometry adjusted by the cut depths defined on the linking parameters page. And finally, tip offset is an amount to ensure that the tip of the tool clears the bottom of the chamfer. Once the parameters have been adjusted, select the depth cuts. Ensure that this option is disabled. Now select the lead in lead out page. Change the overlap value to 0.02. Next, select Multipasses. Disable this option. From here, choose the linking parameters. Set the top of stock and depth to an absolute value of zero. The rest of your parameters should appear as shown. You should note that the depth of the chamfer is based on the width and tip offset set in the cut parameters page. This is why we set the depth here to zero. Once the parameters have been changed, select the OK button to generate the toolpath. Select all of the operations and verify the part. Ensure that Tool, Stock, and Workpiece are enabled. Also, select the isometric view and fit icon. Now press the play simulation. Your part will appear as shown. Again, you can use your mouse to rotate the part. You can now exit verify. Finally, we will post the file. Ensure that all of your operations are selected. 
If they are not, choose the Select All Operations button. Choose the Post Selected Operations button from the Operations Manager. The Post Processing dialog box will appear. Select the OK button. Save your file. A window with Mastercam Code Expert will be launched and the NC program will appear as shown. Ensure that this appears correct for your machine. You can now exit the Mastercam Code Expert and save your file. This will complete tutorial number two.